What's good YouTube, it's your boy Kai. Welcome back to another video. Today we got a whole bunch of news for NBA 2K23, my team. So sit back, relax, grab your drinks, your snacks. So we got a lot of information to dive into. I got my drink, so let me go ahead and take a quick sip before we get started. <sighs> all right, man, so we got court style report number five going over all brand new features of my team what's old what's new but first things first 2k took out contracts so we do not have any more contracts for 2k23 my team great quality of life change we all got tired of dealing with the contracts non-stop but so with the contracts removed we will now be able to restart most single player games in my team domination all challenge games and evil triple threat will now have an option to quickly restart the game if things aren't going your way on the court so that's good a nice little quick restart feature scrolling on down to new ways to play we got some new game modes entering in so with the goal of allowing our community to play my team in their own way we're very excited to announce a new first for my team introducing triple threat online co-op so you can now play triple threat online with your friends be able to team up with them play on the rooftop and triple threat online games to 21 the beauty of triple threat online co-op isn't just the gorgeous redesigned core but how you can play co-op in any configuration you want so this is how triple threat online co-op is going to look here they're giving us some more information about triple threat online co-op it supports any combination of two to six players in first time ever player locked gameplay in my team as you choose which player card you want to use from your active lineup if one of your friends in the group decides to play for the opposing team you will automatically enter party mode it doesn't matter if you are playing one on three two on two two on three or a full group of three on three you can play however you like the ai will fill out any empty slots with the appropriate teammates as you and your friends play against each other now, if you're feeling a little bit more cooperative and are also looking to improve your collection, you can join one or two friends on the same team to play co-op mode. Here, you will take on three AI opponents as you each rise up your individual reward ladders for the season. This is very similar to what experienced my team players have seen in the single player triple threat for years. So as you win, you earn more rewards. And then finally, if you and one of your two friends are feeling the need for multiplayer competition, they have a competitive mode. So you will also progress on your individual seasonal reward ladders, but after each one, you will have the chance to earn a reward for beating the competition. So my team points, tokens, packs, and special takeover reward players, we will talk about that later, are up for grabs after every competitive mode game in Triple Threat Online co-op. So each season, the ladder rewards will be refreshed in co-op, while the competitive rewards will see more frequent updates along the other modes in my team control lock to any position this is a new feature that they've added into my team triple threat online co-op isn't the only mode to allow for position lock gameplay for nba 2k23 my team we're making this change available for all my team modes so you can use this player lock in any my team mode whether you're used to a specific position in my career or want to better manage a specific player's stamina on your way to completing an agenda requirement you can now control a single position for an entire my team game so this is a exciting new feature that they've added in here and this is uh kind of opened up some new possibilities for content creators you know what i'm saying you can just get creative man this is they're giving us some more room to get creative it's all about playing how you want to play remember a massive change like this to a traditionally team control mode is not something we take lightly so they'll basically they'll just be watching over this throughout the year to see how things are going and make adjustments if necessary moving on we got leaderboards coming back into my team and then we got some stuff about unlimited in the previous two years of unlimited you were faced with records that needed to be met to rise up the tiers and earn your rewards for 2k23 we are moving unlimited to a model where every game play progresses you closer to ranking up and after each game win or lose you will earn the season points earn enough to rank up to the next tier and you will get that tiers reward so after you complete the dark matter tier you aren't done for the season we are introducing prestige tiers after you complete your journey to the top for even more rewards on top of rewards at each tier there is a new vault that can be opened after every win here we got to look at the leaderboard and you know of course there's been some skepticism about the leaderboard and how some of this stuff we may have issues with on day one of the release of the game because you already know how servers are going to be so leaderboards they're back compare your stats against your friend and the best players in my team community for the coveted slots at the top of the leaderboard they've also got somewhat of a reward if you place top 10 so getting into the top 10 has an extra perk these exclusive few will receive a special icon displayed next to their name to showcase in my team's multiplayer modes for those outside of the top 10 you can also earn 
a special icon for completing all those possible tiers and prestigious for the season. Each season will reset the leaderboard and progression, giving everyone a chance to climb to the top. Here's some information about the 250k tournament. There will be two tournaments, one for last gen and one for next gen. Of course, it's pretty much the same. You must reach the Emerald tier in the new Unlimited before game day to be able to compete. And the first game day is October 15th, so mark your calendars. And this year, they're also gonna be bringing the four console finalists to an in-person setting to crown the 50K console champions and the 200K grand champions. There are only four chances to qualify for the tournament during game day, so of course, make sure you are ready. We got new beginnings and single player mode. So here we get a look at our starter cards and they've added in a dope feature. So our starter cards, we got Ja Morant, Jimmy Butler, and Joel Embiid. And they give us the opportunity to test out these cards in triple threat before we make our decision. So that'll be a nice added feature so we can decide which one we want to get and actually play with the card before we make our decision. So once again, these all-stars are evolution players, allowing you to complete requirements and choose which areas of their game you want to improve. And of course, down here, the first evolution requirements is to score six points. So that's easy. As you increase your starter cards overall ratings from Emerald to Sapphire and Ruby, you will complete lifetime agendas, which will give you another starter card selection. To get us right into the action to evolve our starter card, after opening our entire starter kit of players and naming our team, they're going to go ahead and throw us in clutch time for a fast paced game to try to evolve your starter cards and get a pair of assists for a head start on your season XP towards level 40. So also for playing 10 games in any my team mode, we go ahead and earn us a quick amethyst right off the bat. We get 90 overall Fred Jones and all you got to do is play 10 games in any my team mode. So clutch time, we got clutch time single player now. So of course, joining triple threat online co-op, we are also adding a single player variant of clutch time. For clutch time single player, you'll be taking your best starting five and competing against the AI for the first time in 2K 22's hottest mode structured in the same way as a clutch time online the goal is to win 10 games in a tier without losing three in a row so gameplay is still remains fast paced you got a four point line 14 second shot clock here it just talks about uh some rewards you got the prize ball you can crack those open and earn rewards but you can read more into that if you want to so exhibitions if you have a deep collection in my team how are you using the player cards that aren't in your 13 player lineup in between challenge and limited requirements why not send your player cards out on an exhibition mission around the globe your players deserve a vacation so send them to honolulu or to rio de and rio and or even paris after their mission time expires you your players will return to you with a special reward from their mission giving you a new passive way to improve your lineup and collection so don't know exactly how this is going to work out of course we'll have to hop into the game mode and see but sounds like it's just another way to earn some rewards with all these cars that we're not using so i don't know if they're gonna have us do more things with those cars or if we just like send in the card off to be graded like you just send it off and you don't do nothing and you wait for it to return and then you just get rewards so we'll have to see more about that when the game comes out next up we have the trophy case so ultimately here we'll be able to earn pink diamond players from each franchise for completing their trophy set with 15 event cards for each nba franchise showcasing key moments of their history you're tasked to complete these collections for the completion reward of a pink diamond player for each team collecting five division pink diamond players will earn you a galaxy opal while completing conferences and finally the nba collection will get you 399 overall dark matter players so earn trophy case rewards throughout my team including at the top of each mode seasonal prizing the first current domination tier and by completing your 23 NBA Series 1 player sets and be on the lookout for the coveted trophy cards. If you play across all the modes in my team and pick up these trophy case cards, you'll be able to earn one of the Galaxy Open players from completing a division by the end of season one. So here they talk about the 2023 NBA Series 1 cards. So for the first time in my team, all current NBA players will launch as rewards in the new token market. Here are all current NBA players in Series 1 will be made available for you to select in the option packs, earn tokens and redeem them for your current players immediately. So hopefully they've made some good updates to the token market and we actually got some good stuff in there this year so here is a season one preview our level 40 reward is a pink diamond scotty pippen with mj grace in the cover we are launching my team with the bulls theme with the great scotty pippen of course like i said he's our level 40 reward pink diamond scotty pippen you can also look forward to more mj era bulls legend reward cards on your way to level 40 including kerr cartwright kukoc horse grant by leveling up in my team but 
to get everyone started in season one of my team the level one player is a free agent Giannis and you'll be able to play with him for five games so here we got some information about seasonal player cards to keep the flow of new player cards added to my team as fresh as possible we are launching NBA 2k23 with a revolving base set of new cards in every pack every two weeks a new volume of cards will be released alongside special select versions for each season one there will be eight collections to complete with amethyst and diamond rewards for the most common cards pulled from packs on top of the premium releases, the takeover players that was talked about earlier will also cycle through my team weekly for the launch of season one takeover diamond. Lamar Odom will be available in both vaults, triple threat online, triple threat online co-op, competitive, the clutch time will spins, the grand prize in draft ascension boards, and for a last chance, the wheel for logging in all seven days in a week. And for a direct route, takeover players will also be available by completing agendas each week. And of course, here we getting some more information about a bunch of the other different modes we got single player triple threat so here's some changes that's coming to triple threat current gen will now compete on triple threat courts based on new gens pink diamond plaza courts the penthouse court used in single player triple threat has a new night variant new gen players will now be able to set matchups and change key defensive settings on the fly during triple threat games so that's a that's a nice feature that they've added into the game domination so for 2k23 domination will launch with five sets of 33 games spanning the current nba golden and modern age historic teams NBA champions and finally the all-time teams for each NBA franchise completing the 99 stars for each domination tier will get you great player rewards making a 90 plus overall starting five with Amethyst Julius Randle, Diamond Mitch Richmond, Diamond Mike Bibby, Diamond Bill Walton and Pink Diamond John Havlicek as a reward of each tier. This is the largest group of domination games to launch a my team mode. There are two new changes coming to the mode as well. First, the arrows feature in the Jordan Challenge will be enabled in the domination games. So it's one thing to take on the 86 Celtics. It's another when your my team faces them with classic 90, 1980s presentation and rules. So the other major change for domination is how you earn stars to dominate your opponent and earn those stars you will now need to defeat your opponent by a set amount of points so i think this is a dub no more calculating my team point earnings from dunks and post moves is now all about getting the win in the most decisive way possible so here's some information about our challenges so all the challenge categories from 2k22 are coming back uh to launch season one our signature challenge will be from his airness himself Defeat MJ and his chosen starting five for Diamond Jordan Shoe Colorway, Shoe Boost, and a Hall of Fame badge. So a nice way to get us started. For challenges with lineup requirements, they've integrated a new lineup helper uh, to help us sculpt our active lineup to meet the requirements for the selected challenge. You will now receive feedback if you don't have enough players of a certain team or have gems that are rated too high for the challenge. Certain challenges will be played with an error accurate presentation and rules similar to domination when your opponents are from a retro era. For those playing on PS5, the exclusive activity challenges will include games where you will face off against MJ, greatest teams in season one faces rookie bulls in the 80s with your fresh lineup for an exclusive diamond jordan one colorway card and shoe boost to fill out in the my team shoe lab so some information about limited my team limited returns and of course they got some nice uh updates with this as well uh, to help everyone they've got some more unique lineup rules that they're going to be adding in and then to help everyone meet each week's lineup they've also added in that lineup helper here as well another key change for limited this year is you can now earn every ring prize in a season so no more waiting until the end of the season to earn your seasonal rewards play each week to earn that week's ring and immediately earn the reward associated with the number of rings you've collected that season and one more thing for limited they've also added errors in limited this will be the only place to compete with the unique historic presentation and rules in multiplayer my team games adding yet another new twist to some of the lineup rules and themes you may encounter this year so they are slapping arrows on everything just about um so here's some information about the draft best way to try out the newest release cards in my team so this year if you run out of draft tickets you will be able to get into the mode with my team points after your draft lineup you will now be able to edit your starting lineup to adjust to your playing style rather than being forced into the best fit to your drafted coaches system adjust your lineup how you please before entering the game and between games to make the best use of your drafted lineup each draft kit comes with an exclusive ascension board that includes the weekly takeover reward player as the grand prize at the top of the tower and the rewards are available quicker with ascension picks awarded after each win in the draft so got some rewards from the w that they put in got some stuff about triple threat online so classic is the 
mantra for triple threat online as 2k22's the 100 has been removed in favor of the 10 game or three loss run format from 2k20 and 21 compete on the rooftop in both current gen and next gen against the my team community for exclusive ball drop awards in these 3v3 games to 21 triple threat online players on new gen will also receive the previously mentioned update to the on the fly settings in game the expanded collector level rewards return with over 75 reward levels collecting player cards is how you will rise up we already know that and then we also will get exclusive rewards for adding jerseys courts and more cards to our collection so we also have a new agenda tracker when it comes to keeping track of agendas one very welcome change coming to my team is the addition of the agenda tracker in the pause menu whenever you are in game you will now be able to pause and get a quick glimpse at your progress towards your track agenda another highly requested feature in 2k23's my team you can say frequently change defensive settings before you hit the virtual hardwood head over to the code Coaching tab of your lineup to adjust these settings and jump into the my to jump into the action faster. You got upgrades to the card grading service. So the card grading also returns with a new subtler appearance. Send your player card collection off to get graded for bonus my team points in every game they are a part of. Expanding from its debut in 22, you will now be able to have your reward cards graded. We are looking forward to seeing some perfect tens. And here we got the closing remarks. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but if you haven't already, go ahead and complete that spotlight challenge from NBA 2K22. That'll give you 23 tokens, a diamond shoe colorway, and shoe boost card waiting for you when 2K23 launches. So that is the whole in depth report for my team for NBA 2K23. We got some dope changes. We got some new additions that they've added into the game mode. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below you think my team is going to be a w or an l this year let me know what you think as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to subscribe and leave a like down below and i will catch you guys in the next one peace